Hello and welcome back. My name is Amulli and you are watching Tube Mint. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get started with Action Text in Rails 6. So Action Text is basically a WYSIWYG editor that is now part of uh, this Rails framework. And the editor that is called Tricks Editor is uh, the editor that is called Action Text, okay? Now, how it works, it, it creates when you start using action text, um, feature of this or package in your Rails application. It's, it is, it creates a model called rich text. And this can be associated with any of your existing models, tables and how it stores data, it, it, it uses active storage, which is also part of Rails framework. So this is how it works, okay? Now let's go ahead and everything happens dynamically. You don't have to configure everything. There are a few commands that you need to run to tell this Rails uh, framework that you want to use text editor, the tricks text editor or action text feature of the Rails. So let's get started. now. What I'm going to do, I'm quickly going to create a application, Rails application. So let me quickly change the directory. So I'm in the Rails box. Now I can simply say Rails new. And then I can say rich blog. Blog and hit enter. And this is going to create everything that you already know. So I'll write back once it's done. All right. So it just created the rich blog application. There are a few things that we need to have. Uh, there's one more package that you need to have installed on, uh, on our system, not in the application. So wherever you are, go ahead and download and install this image magic software package. This imaging image tool that needs to be installed on your system so no matter what operating system you are using if you do not have image uh, image magic installed go ahead and download it and install it from here imagemagic.org hit download if you're using uh, mac or linux you can use sudo apt install image magic one word if you are on microsoft windows go ahead and download from here all right so once it's there what it does if you want to use action text and you want to process the images you need to have the image magic installed on your system and then you need to have this uh, let's go ahead and change yeah rich rich block not blog okay so here we go so let's go ahead and open this in sublime text and here we are. There's one more thing that we need to install. We need to go ahead and install this um, image processing gem that is already there. You simply have to uncomment it to use active storage, okay? So now let's go ahead and say bundle. And this is going to take care of uh, this thing called um, gem installation. All right, so that has been installed. Now we need to go ahead and run few commands to start using active storage and action text. So here are a few th things that you need to say. It's Rails active storage, and then you simply say install. You can also say, and I guess it works, Rails action text and then say install uh, oh it didn't work so let's go ahead and try one by one so these are two commands that you need to run so once it's done i'll write back so now we need to go ahead and run these two commands so simply say rails active storage install and once it's done then we need to go ahead and say rails action text install 
so these are two commands then we are ready to go ahead and run the migration create a scaffolding and let's go ahead and say action text action text after running these two commands we will go ahead and run the db migrate this may take a bit longer this action text thing this is going to generate a lot of uh, files so if you could get 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 in here under javascript channel it's going to create a few folders here as well uh, under start sheet so action text is created we're just trying to update the javascript dependencies and it may take some time so i'll be right back all right so we are set now so let's go ahead and say rails db migrate this is for active records sorry active storage and action text and this is going to run the migration and it shouldn't take a long time here hmm so that's done now let's go ahead and say rails generate scaffold and i'm going to say blog and then i'm going to have title only title the rest of things will be done with action text so this is going to create this crud with scaffold with only one field title okay here we go now you can simply go ahead and run again rails db migrate and run the server and let's go ahead and see if your application is running and you are able to uh, create update delete read sort of things now here we go so now i'm going to run this server so rails s and go to localhost 3000 and we created blogs so okay so it shouldn't take long now webpack compiling so it's going to compile everything active view action view template error permission denied okay here we are now it's going to work so you can see this is only the title field now we want to add the rich text field here so to do so we simply go ahead and first let this model know the blocks model know that we are going to use action text so you simply say blogs go to blogs.rb so it's under model blog.rb and then here you say has rich text and the rich text is going to be called content so i'm going to take this one now we will go to controller so blog controller and go ahead and put this in the params so you simply say content so now let's go ahead and put this in the form so go to form.erb and i'm going to copy this one and i'm going to change these two so I'll simply say content and this is going this field is going to be rich text area text area and okay so let's go ahead and go to show oops dot erb and just copy this one paste it here and simply say content yeah i think i'm right so here we go 
we're almost done here if i go ahead and refresh it it's going to take a few seconds okay so everything worked and now you can see you've got this uh, tricks editor now it's part of this uh, scaffold that we created blog i can go ahead and use this this is test post from tricks editor and here we go now i can go ahead and take some text from here let's take these all i can go ahead and remove these links here anything that you don't need so let's see if shortcut is working yeah it's working shortcut is control um, Control K to edit links in the browser. So here we are. Now, if you want to add some images, I can go ahead and put the bold Control B is working. And let's say I want to say image processing Control I. This is also working. And let's say I want to use this block. Code. so that's also working let's say I want to use this code so let's say if this is going to work Oops. hello world and that's it so let's go ahead and quickly add an image to it so let's say I want to put an image over here so I've got a few images let me quickly get to this picture screenshots okay let's go ahead and drop it over here and save it if you've got more than one images it's going to work like this so this text editor still needs to be made like very rich for rich experience it's not yet okay so you cannot do a lot of things with this tricks editor yet so here we go now i can go ahead and say create blog and this should be here now this is how it works i can go back all right i can edit it And then update it. Here we go. So this is how I start using action text in Rails applications. If you have any questions, suggestion, please leave in the comment below. I will try to answer it ASAP. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Have a good day. Bye for now.